got my aux beam controller it's uh, pretty wicked all your little st stickers fan horn lights front back any any one that you want you can get up to eight instructions are well as long as you know how to do some wiring because just tells you what you got and basically how to connect them so you got the little remote seems very very well built tough you got your 60 amp breaker fuse for your main breaker you put that between the positive of your battery and the positive of the actual controller so this is the controller you would pass all your wires underneath in here so for every light you got or any accessories you got five Two five amps, two ten, two twenty, and two thirty, and there's your positive and negative. Those two you pass them in here, and then you got your main plug here that goes goes to to this. You got an extension, and this other one here, that's for your power so your keyed power most of them have three wires uh, red white and uh, yellow but mine only came with uh, one red wire the other ones usually it's for I think it's for the dimmer so this must be a new unit and the, the dim feature is built in somehow I'll know more when I install it then you got your little brackets here and you got your adapter fuse which if if you can use that I'm probably not going to use it because I already got keyed keyed accessory power so I don't really need to use this this would connect with this red wire so as soon as you turn your key on you would uh, get power to this and you got your hardware kit to install anything you want this is the extension I was talking about that goes between this and your remote and it's guessing it's probably about seven eight feet long and then you got your positive and negative wires two red ones the smaller one that goes on to your main breaker and then the other one that go from your main breaker to the unit here and you got a whole bunch of uh, zip ties in there so I'll be installing this probably on the weekend hopefully it's uh, it's and all the relays there this is kind of like a rubber hard rubber and all the relays and everything are all underneath here so the only problem I'm thinking is water splashing up into here depending on where you're going to mount that in your bike so but it should uh, every accessories positive and negative you're just going to go under here tap it into one of these instead of going five wires in and out to a rocker switch 